हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस हेयर आई टोल्ड यू द रूल आई हैव शोन यू द पी पी टी आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड फ्रॉम दैट बट हेयर सम स्टूडेंट्स आर डूइंग मिस्टेक सो आई एम गोइंग टू रेक्टिफाई दैट सो आई होप यू विल बी अंडर यू विल बी नोइंग मोर अबाउट इट एंड यू विल नॉट डू मिस्टेक्स यू आर डूइंग सो here is it simple present tense maybe by writing you will understand more so here the rule is subject plus first form of the verb we use and object and helping verbs are do and does so what we have to do is when we write i told you the rules that when we have to use this uh, this tense the habitual habits we are, what we are have we are doing regularly so in that in ca- that case we use it and when there is a universal truth fact okay for that also we use this tense so we use this rule we should have to learn it so now here i go to the school डेली सो मैं स्कूल जाती हूँ डेली ओके मैं आई गो टू स्कूल दिस इज माई हैबिट आई गो टू स्कूल आई ब्रश माई टीथ सो दिस इज माई हैबिट दैट आई ब्रश माई टीथ डेली सो दिस इज यू नो सब्जेक्ट दिस इज फर्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब एंड देन ऑब्जेक्ट दैट इज प्रेडिकेट ऑल्सो दिस इज प्रेडिकेट ऑल्सो नाउ इन अ सेंटेंस यू नो वी नीड सब्जेक्ट वर्ब एंड ऑब्जेक्ट बट हेयर नाउ what is what is the use of do and does that is that are helping verbs we use it only in negative and interrogative sentences we use do or does do and does in negative and interrogative sentences but in simple sentences we don't we don't need it like do is already a verb so we we don't write two verbs in a sentence like i do go if you will write i do go that will be wrong so i go this need of one now i we you they and plural these are the subjects when you see i we you they and plural as a subject so you have to use do with that okay and rest of he she it name of a person and singular so there you use does does not do not does not okay now this is a simple sentence now if i have to make it negative so with i we use do so you know subject helping verb then kya aata hai not so we use not i do not go to the school main school nahi jati i go main jati hu मैं नहीं जाती आई डू नॉट गो ओके बट इफ आर क्वेश्चन कम्स दैट आई टू मेक अ क्वेश्चन सो दैट विल बी हेल्पिंग वर्क देन डू आई गो टू द स्कूल सो दिस इज इंटेरोगेटिव सेंटेंस इन इंटेरोगेटिव सेंटेंस वी पुट क्वेश्चन मार्क सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस लाइक आई गो मैं जाती हूँ आई डू नॉट गो मैं नहीं जाती डू आई गो क्या मैं जाती हूँ सो in this way you have to frame five sentences now take the another one of it another example that is if i okay we take example of does he swims he swims means he swims taata hai but if he doesn't swim so we write he does not swim he does not swim so here this is positive sentence this is negative of it but keep it in mind what the student have done in the homework that was they have written he does not swims so that will be wrong if you are using does not does in the sentence that is negative sentence so you don't have to put s in the verb so in in simple sentence you use verb ki first form verb ki first form plus s swims but while making negative or interrogative like 
does he swim question mark so there you don't have to use s in the verb so this is what you do mistake a lot mostly every student has done this mistake so i hope you will not do it and you have to frame five sentences again and then you have to show it to me i hope it is uh, it's all clear that and you don't have to need only five sentences when i'm doing like this this is first sentence this is one sentence like one sentence should have three sentences that is positive negative and interrogative so how you will do it like first positive okay make positive sentence then make negative of, negative of it then make interrogative of it so in this way three sentences when you will make so that will count one and then again you have to do second and then you have to do a uh, three four five so this is your homework again i am revising it i hope this time you will not do mistake so the rule is subject first form of the verb plus object then helping verbs are do and does but we have to use do and does only in negative and interrogative sentences uh then positive sentence verb ki first form you have to use here i go subject plus first form of the verb while making negative you have to use do and does and in interrogative sentence helping verb will come first then subject and then verb okay helping verb subject and then verb and you have to put question mark mostly students uh do these two mistakes generally like they don't put punctuation mark like in positive in negative you have to put full stop and in interrogative you have to insert question mark this is one mistake you do and second mistake in making this sentence like he swims when you have to use s in the verb and when you make negative of it or interrogative so use don't use s in the verb you generally students use it so please don't use it and show me your homework i'll be waiting for your homework thank you thank you students